Sega. Successful, innovative, and dominating the arcades of the 80s and 90s. Let's play fun to play. Hit after hit, with better graphics and more insane cabinets as the years went by. But how did we get here? Hi, I'm Emoto Arcade. I travel around the world documenting the coolest arcades, and today I'm going to take you back in time to explore one of Sega's most influential forgotten classics, Gunfight. The year is 1970, and Sega is already an established success, running a chain of game centers across Japan and cranking out hits that keep those coins rolling in. The earliest consumer video games were under development, and it would be decades before kids all over the world were setting record times on Daytona USA. Sonic was still a gleam in Naoto Oshima's eye. So what was blowing up the arcades of the day? This guy. Most of the big video game companies like Sega, Namco, and Nintendo created hugely successful electromechanical games like Gunfight during the 60s and 70s. These games were the state of the art for their time. Video games before video games existed. EM games create an immersive experience using electricity to drive mechanical parts. No video displays, no microprocessors. Here's our good friend, collector, and historian, Bruce Samos, to show us what made Gunfight so unique and exciting. I grew up in the golden age of electromechanical games, and they'll always be my first love. In 1970, Sega released a game called Gunfight. It's two players. Each player is a gunslinger. Each player has a pistol and the players are positioned at opposite ends of the game. The play field is enclosed by a plexiglass acrylic type canopy. The play field is a Nevada type terrain and there are cactuses. If a player shoots the cactus, the top part of the cactus retracts when you land a shot on your opponent, your opponent collapses. Now, how does that happen? Well, your mannequin is a puppet. Your mannequin has strings from foot into the neck and through the torso. The effect is that you've lost your corpus and you've collapsed. Immediately afterwards, you regain your form and you are standing, shooting, Gunslinger once again. Gunfight was one of the first games to feature head-to-head -head shooting. In fact, Sega's Gunfight directly inspired early Wild West video games like Taito's Gunfight in 1975 and Atari's Outlaw in 1976. It can even be considered a distant ancestor to modern classics like Red Dead Redemption. The Arcade Dreams Kickstarter is live now. Check us out for more forgotten classics from the past century of arcade games and I'll see you at the arcade.